To discuss this further, I'm being joined by Peter Okedia, Analyst Fortress Consultant. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here today. All right, Peter. Now, how would you describe the oil and gas sector in 2023, particularly well, as regards policies and regulatory trends that shaped that sector in the year? Well, um, the petroleum industry this year was a very eye-opening moment for everyone, even the average citizen out there. Well, the journey didn't start here. It started from 2021 to 2022. And these years were like the defining moment. But 2023 in particular was the year when everything um, came to implementation. Basically, the actions in 2022 led to the incident that happened in 2021. And um, we saw that uh, 2023 came with a sort of missed target on some of the projects that were meant to take off, well, most especially the Dangote refinery and the Portacourt refinery too, considering that last year they were promised, the regulators and the government promised that, okay, this year um, this project will be delivered, but it didn't. And 2023 also saw the removal of um, the subsidy uh, regime on fuel in Nigeria with the inauguration of the president. So this um, became an eye-opening moment for the average Nigerian out there, considering the fact that everyone is affected even the average Nigerian knows what subsidy is about right now. So mm. it's an enlightening year for most of us, and it is a remarkable year also, um, despite the fact that the subsidy removal process is yet to be completed. It signifies the fact that, okay, the government is willing to um, enhance transparency and accountability in the oil and gas sector. Now, yes. uh, uh I mean, just uh, recently, we understand that Nigeria's crude oil production exceeded about 2 million barrels per day. Now, with the renewed efforts to improve uh, Nigeria's uh, oil production, are you confident that the country will meet its 2024 uh, budget projections? Thank you very much. So, um, the crude, crude oil production in Nigeria is a valuable sector because we generate most of our foreign uh, revenue from that angle. So OPEC crude oil production quota for Nigeria for the year 2023 was around 1.78 uh, million barrels per day. However, Nigeria could not meet up to this target due to some constraints in crude oil production, like crude oil theft and uh, decreased upstream crude oil investments. So these were the constraints that the up upstream sector um, experienced or recorded. So um, this year, in 2023, Nigeria's crude oil volume, highest production volume was around 1.35 million barrels per day. And the lowest production volume was 1.2 um, uh, million barrels per day. So this signifies that there was really no difference between what we had last year and what we are having this year now. And remember in 2022 that major um, international oil companies had to divest, um, had to declare force major because they couldn't um, operate due to the fact that crude oil theft became rampant. So mm -hmm. in 2022, the federal government set up various mechanisms like a surveillance program, um, a security outfit for the um, for the monitoring and surveillance of crude oil um, transportation in Nigeria. However, despite these uh, measures that were put in place, we could see that they really did bring the desired result. They haven't brought the desired Results yet. I think uh, it was earlier this month that the okay. um, military yeah. was insisting that between December to, to December 7th, there were about. All right, Peter, I'm sorry. I might just need to cut oh, in oh. here. Okay. Uh, we sincerely apologize, but we press for time. I uh, would, of course, okay. uh, sincerely appreciate your contribution on uh, the program tonight. Peter Okidia, analyst, Fall Trust Consultant. Once again, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.